Hello everyone, this is Dan and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be taking apart this car engine to show you guys what's inside. But before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed, you can do that right now so you don't miss any interesting videos. This motor is a four cylinder and it has a automatic transmission. Now this whole drivetrain came out of a 2009 Mercury Milan, which we did take apart in the previous video. That was called What's Inside a Car. In that video we took the whole car apart to show you guys what's inside that. This is the whole drivetrain that came out and we saved it for a separate video and today's the day you guys are going to see what's inside a car motor. Now we're not going to be touching the transmission because we have an upcoming video of comparing a CVT and a regular transmission. We're going to be taking those apart to show you guys what's inside of both of those and you can compare them yourselves. Now we are going to be taking apart everything here, the whole suspension and motor. We're going to lay it down on the ground and at the end of the video we're going to go over everything with you guys. So let's get started and take this bad boy apart. done taking apart the motor let's check it out here we have it guys this is all the parts okay what you see on the ground that's all the parts of the motor I'm gonna quickly go uh, over them um, with the camera just so you can kind of see first and then I'm gonna be pointing them out and talking about them just a little bit so here we are these are all the parts these are the internal parts of the motor right here oily okay this is an interesting one. This is the, uh, the engine block. This is the rest of the parts. Okay. So let's just go backwards, you know, from what we already know uh, when we just started taking it apart. Here's just the electrical wires that we have uh, clipped off, what was left from the engine harness. This is just regular plastic and hoses that I just threw in the pile. This is the engine cradle um, for the undercarriage. Here we have um, the rack and pinion. This is what steers uh, your uh, wheels. So these things go in and out and this is your connect to your steering wheel and then also connect to a power steering. Here we have this is the catalytic converter. This is your uh, exhaust manifold. Uh, this one is connected together but usually they're separate. This is your catalytic converter here. You have your oxygen sensors. You have three of them here. That's pretty interesting. And then your flex pipe. Uh, we are going to be doing a video later on about catalytic converters and what's inside and comparing them to a aftermarket version and original version and also um, the diesel DPF systems. We're going to cut those open and show you guys in the later video. Here we have, this is the sway bar. 
Okay. All right, so here we have, this is the left and right um, assembly for the wheel. We have the rack and pinion that connects on both of these sides and that's what turns the wheel uh, left and right. Here's your lower control arms on both sides. Here's your axles. Here's your, this is the spindle. And onto the spindle you have a bearing inside that actually the axle goes through and then the, you know, for the hub. And you have your brake rotors. These are your brake rotors. Here's your calipers on both sides. And then you have your brake lines, brake fluid lines. Over here is your front suspension, okay? That's your serpentine belt, an engine bracket. This is your power steering pump, okay? This is what allows you to turn your steering wheel freely under, um, so, I mean, if you didn't have a power steering pump, you'd, it'd be really hard to turn your steering wheel if you're not moving. Here's your alternator. We are gonna be doing a video on the alternator, taking apart one and seeing what's inside also. Stay tuned. This is, um, this is some kind of a blower. It blows air. Honestly, I'm not really sure what it does. I think it feeds air um, into the motor somehow, cleans it. I'm not really sure. But this right here is the starter. This is the AC pump. This is the throttle body. This is the tiny little water pump. I mean, this, this thing is tiny. I've never seen one this tiny on the four-cylinder motor. Um, I'm not sure what kind of, what is this? Some kind of a valve, uh, maybe for the EGR. This is the, for the, the oil filter housing. So this is also part of the cooling system. You know, maybe shuts off, shuts on. I'm not really exactly sure what it does. This connects the two shafts. One side goes into, this side goes into the transmission. That side connects to the other axle. Um, and that goes right through the transmission and powers the wheels. Uh, this is the fuel rail. This is the fuel injectors. This is that little uh, thermostat housing. This is the motor mount or a lower motor mount. These are, this is the pulley, that uh, tensioner that pull, uh, Make sure your belt is nice and tight. These are your just wheels for your belt. This is a transmission dipstick. And this is your intake throttle body. It has little sensors and everything, but pretty much that's the whole assembly. This is this connects to, see, the air goes through it from your air box and it goes into your um, cylinder head right here. So this is the cylinder head. Uh, over here we have the camshafts that lay in here. And uh, these are the camshafts and the chain. There's a, the chain goes around them, the timing chain. And when it spins, you can see how these have notches pointing up, down. And what happens is when you're spinning them, they, these uh, valves go in and out, pushes them in and out. And what that does is allows the exhaust cycle to uh, push them in, the exhaust comes out. And then these, let's say, push in. You can see them moving right here, actually. This is one, then you can take it out. There's a spring under them and uh, they, always, they always retract. And then when that camshaft turns, pushes them in. So one side is, allows the air in, the other side allows the exhaust in and they're timed just right to do that. These are your uh, coils, electrical coils, sends the signal to the spark plug. This is your harmonic balancer. This is your engine cover for the timing chain. This is your valve cover for the cylinder head. Here we have, this is the transmission. I mean, we're not taking apart this one. Like I said, there's gonna be another video. They're over there, two of them right there. One of them is a CVT, the other one's just a regular transmission. One's a 2014, uh, or actually 2015, the other one's a 08. And uh, we're gonna see, take them apart, compare what's inside for both of them because they are completely different. So we're not touching this one, but this is the transmission that connects to the motor. This is your torque converter that slides through here. Okay, and over here you can see this is where your, this mounts right to the engine block, right over the pistons. And you can see these are black and burned and these are not as black. So I'm assuming the air goes, uh, this is the air that opens and closes and this is the exhaust um, flames that come out through your exhaust into your manifold, through your catalytic converter, out your pipe. Okay, so that's, and then I believe all these holes right here, I think that's for cooling. Uh, the cooling going through the whole uh, cylinder head and the block. Okay, here we have, these are the little clips for the, they go right over these. Okay, so it turns and they connect right to the cylinder head. This is your timing chain. Okay, timing chain. This is your adjuster, kind of tensioner, I guess. And uh, I guess it tensions right through here. This keeps a nice tension on it. This is your seal for um, where your torque converter goes, mounts to the engine. This is your uh, head gasket. Okay, 
it goes right between your engine block engine, engine block and the head um, head of gas uh, cylinder head right here this is your oil pan okay you can see there's a little bit of oil this is your engine block this is an aluminum engine block now right here um, is where your crankshaft goes right between here you have these little clips okay these things slide in there and then this whole crankshaft the piston uh, rods connect to these uh, well top ones let's say one of these doesn't matter four of them um, a few of them are laying inside the block and and the four of them are actually holding the piston rods which in turn hold the piston pistons itself and these are the piston rings to keep the oil in and the exhaust fumes out of the engine um, so that lays right in there okay and believe it or not there's no beer bearings here this is just when you put the the crankshaft right in here um, and they lay in, in in their slots with their little stainless steel or whatever kind of metal that is pretty much you just have a really thin layer of oil that lubricates it or acts like a, a bearing inside um, the engine so there's no bearings there it's just on oil so if you ever run your motor without oil um, pretty much that's where you start seizing up uh, you seize your motor technically where those they scrape 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 until they uh, do damage and, and rip apart so and this right here is what holds the other half of the crankshaft in there um, this thing was not surprising I never seen one before and, uh, and it's, it's steel or cast iron or you know and so I'm looking at it I'm like what the heck is this so it was connected this underside right here uh, was connected um, to here so there's a gear that turns from underneath to there so when your crank shaft turns this turns from underneath and you can see what it does see that so these are heavy so it's almost like a, a little vibrating device inside your phone when you're you know to when you somebody calls you and it vibrates so this is a bigger version of it so it's a little in your phone you have a, it's a little offset um, piece of metal that when the motor spins it, it it creates a vibration so this I believe is a anti vibration to your motor let's say your motor is spinning it's cranking and is creating a, a, um, a shake and this is also spinning from your crankshaft but in the reverse order so when this is pushing down this is shaking it back up i believe and that creates a smoother engine so less engine noise so here we got these are the piston heads this is where the explosion happens against these and that pushes this uh, crankshaft back and forth so they're positioned in such a way um, where one pushes the other and it kind of moves so this is it guys this is all that's inside what you just seen when i started taking apart um, you have everything from transmission to motor to motor parts to uh, the suspension uh, the engine cradle to, to the for the exhaust and the intake uh, for the air intake so this is it hopefully you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, I mean I enjoyed actually taking it apart it's very interesting myself when you I mean it's a lot more interesting when you're actually doing it than, than watching because you can see it firsthand um, something that you can't see with a camera but this is why I do it, so you guys don't have to and you guys can see for yourselves. All right, guys, that's it. That's what's inside a motor. That's kind of how it works. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. That definitely helps. And stay tuned for the next interesting video to come. And if once again, if you have any comments or suggestions on what you want to see, leave them down in the comments. Thank you very much.